Today we will discuss how to simulate C++ and the System C library on EDA Playground. Uh, System C is a library for uh, system level simulations and it includes the simulation kernel which uh, allows you to uh, you know, have a concept of time. So let's uh, get into it. So first of all here's a, a basic home page on EDA Playground and uh, to get to uh, C++ or System C you select uh, the C++ System C language here and by default System C is selected here. So let's run an example. Um, there's a couple here so let's run uh, a simple counter. So we have a counter design which basically uh, an up, uh, up counter, a 4-bit up counter and on the left we have a simulation which uh, toggles some of the signals like uh, certs resets, deasserts resets, asserts enable. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it and I'm gonna go ahead and also open up waves because by default uh, system C simulations will dump waves so we're gonna wanna see those. So let's go ahead and run this. So as you can see it's uh, running on the server and uh, let's go back here to this and see that it did indeed complete the simulation run. Uh, the counter was incremented and we see the waves as well where the reset was asserted, deasserted and then the counter started counting and then rolled over. Another thing to mention here is that there are compile and run options that can be specified especially if you are using fixed point types you might uh, want to specify this uh, uh, SC include FX define. Um, <clears throat> Alright so let's try an example without system C so just plain C++. So that's also possible, right? Because uh, System C is just a library, so you can run without it. And in this case, where it's not, you know, we're not doing any simulations. It's just plain C++ examples. In this example here, uh, we're basically just doing some downcasting. So um, this example can be used for educational purposes. And um, you, you see the output here. Um, so I'm going to rerun it, but I'm just going to specify one of the options. Uh, it uses the uh, G++ compiler here, so you can specify any options you want that uh, the G++ compiler will take. So in this case, I'm going to just do a verbose option, just so we see some extra information during the compile. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and as you can see, there was a lot of verbose options, including um, something that may be interesting is the version of the compiler being used. Okay, thanks for watching.